We've always had room in our hearts for film and TV Not just on Netflix, but tape and disc and theaters I also God forbid that they take it all away And leave us nothing to broadcast to loyal listeners We'll binge watch every single movie So you don't have to, what else are we here for? Coming to you every week, listen to us while you're busy Luckily, we forgot to grow up. Hey, everybody, it's Craig. Hey, it's Scott. Hey, it's Andrew. Welcome to episode number nine of the Forgot to Grow Up podcast, the podcast where I am invisible and yet we're doing the entire thing on audio. This week, as promised, because it's going to drop just before the new Star Wars movie releases, we are going to talk about nothing but Star Wars, which means that we are going to start off with some Star Trek uh, trivia, right? Right, Scott? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 Craig, it's Star Wars, Star Wars. We so can't see I, Craig I right now, confused. but he's being a total fan of Menace. Confused. Oh, oh, nice. That great it segue. did not take long for you to make that reference. <laughs> is, that, is that a pun? Is that our first pun? That, that, that's a uh, pun. It has and, to be our first a... pun. We've literally just started recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a, it's kind a fourth wall break at the same time, too. It's a little bit both. Because it's, it's a reference to how... We have technical difficulties. Anyway, yeah, like me <laughs> trivia. at the bottom of my screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're still getting used to this video thing. This is our first time trying it. But anyways, yes, video trivia on Star Wars, guys. So the first piece of trivia I have for about The Phantom Menace was, did you guys know that when the first trailer was being released, a Canadian theater accidentally released it a day early and then lost the rights to show the film? That does not <laughs> surprise me in the slightest. Was it, it the Aaron here in Campbellford? It did say a specific theater. I was hoping it would, because I was just like, that that sounds so Canadian. Like, that just Come on, dumb mistake. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. A little, we were a little early with the day. People <laughs> but were they just ended excited. Up losing the rights. They end up losing the rights, though, to uh, premiere the movie, which kind of sucks for them. Oh, but Jesus. It's like, oh, they did, they did release the, you know, the new Star Wars prequel trailer a day early. So I'm sure that, that had a lot of news happening for the, around that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was a fun piece of trivia I had around the Phantom Menace. I don't know if either of you knew that, but I, th- I thought that was a fun little fact that I learned I did about not know Menace. that. No idea. I, now that you mention it, I'm not surprised, but I did not know it. No. But when was the first time you guys remember seeing a trailer or watching the first movie? Uh, the first time I remember watching the first movie must have been shortly after it came out. It would have been on the TV at my grandparents' farm during like christmas during a gathering and that's the first time i remember that movie right on what about you andrew do you, um, remember, do you remember the trailer i feel like we might have been a little young for the trailer i remember, remember seeing the out? movie here in town here in campbellford when yeah. i was uh, you know knee high to myself now uh yeah. hmm. i remember the summer before it came out or maybe it was the summer it did come out um collecting all the like i think it was like dr pepper and mountain dew and stuff they had the little tabs oh, yeah. inside the caps oh, yeah. that would yep. give you a, like a super secret special prize i don't remember what the hell the prize was because clearly i never something collected awesome. enough something awesome for children but <laughs> i remember doing that and there was so much hype the yeah. le- you know the lego kits that came out with it i had all of them nice. um yeah that, that is like the first star wars phantom menace memory i have and then I remember watching nice. it in the theaters, and I know a lot of people hate on it, but I don't think it was that bad. I loved it. I remember seeing it in theaters as well. Like, I remember, I vaguely remember seeing the trailer. Like, I just remember the excitement in my young self. Like, that's about all I remember is, like, remember hearing that first, like, because like, it starts off quiet, and then eventually you hear, you know, the traditional Star Wars theme. And, exactly and you're sitting there and i'm just like because oh, i'd seen all the originals before that with my family um because we always watch those like during christmas and stuff and that was one of the few oh, yeah. movies that everyone in my family could agree on um so i'd already seen the originals so i don't even know what movie i was seeing but i definitely remember seeing the trailer and being excited about it and then i saw it in theaters with my family because my family obviously are a bunch of star wars geeks too um, that's where I get it from. It's in the blood. Uh, and like midichlorians. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Star Christmas chlorians. Also, All done. Also All reference done. to this movie because it's the first time the midichlorians popped up. In Boom. Star Wars. That was random. That was a random trivia fact that I already knew. A lot of people knew. But yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it, yeah. it never occurred to me, but I knew it. Yeah. That, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, but I also had a bunch of like 
different Star Wars stuff, like from the Phantom Menace, because that was those were our, my Star Wars. That was like one of my that was my first the first Star Wars movie that came out as when I was a kid, obviously, because I was born after all the originals came out. And so I had like a bed set that was, had the pod racers on it. I had the pod racer game. I had so much stuff. I dressed up as little Anakin. No, not Anakin. I dressed up as uh, Obi Wan. With the little freaking pigtail. Thing. Yes, the, the little rat yeah. tail ponytail. Because I, I had long hair, I could do it. <laughs> so, I, you know, p- pulled back as a child, bam, little pigtail thing, yeah. And I did that for like three Halloweens when I was a child, I remember. Cause That's fair. I, I loved that stuff so much. And, and then the next movie came out, and I think I got probably... You got grown up, Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. A young adult <laughs> Obi- Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan was definitely my favorite from the prequel trilogies, I have to say. I, I love Owen. Uh, Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, in <laughs> I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. I like that he was sassy. Yeah. Like, yes, that's my favorite. You know, part. from just... from the old wise, you know, old Ben Obi Wan from the original trilogy, going to yeah. Ewan McGregor and having him as just a sassy bitch. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. Just sassy and just, uh, <laughs> and awesome. Like he's such a great like character and like I always loved his style because he was always more of a defensive kind of fighter like he didn't always like attack first he was more let's let's try and maybe work this out oh okay we're fighting okay and then he defends himself i think i think his whole like character arc and like as you see him grow from the phantom menace through to episode three i like that you see him and he does he does try to follow like the way of uh the jedi you know go to the council let them guide him he really doesn't exactly. seem like he wants to be, you know, the Jedi Master. He knows that what he's meant to be is, you know, a foot exactly. soldier type thing. But then yeah, also, you also see that in the guy. back of his head, he lives by Qui Gon's teachings, and you do yes, see a little bit of Qui Gon in him. Oh yeah, definitely, I agree with that. You definitely can, see, even though they're only together in one movie, but they're also you get a little bit more into depth into their relationship in like the. Uh, the Clone Wars animated yeah, series. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but you get to see a little bit more like flashbacks and the, them interact as like with the Force Ghost and whatnot. Um, Force Ghost. But, Gotta love it. Yes. But I wanted to ask you what your guys' favorite and least favorite uh, thing about the start to the new prequels trilogy. So like a lot of people were resistant to this new trilogy. I loved it because I was a kid at the time and it was my, it, for me, it's m- more my trilogy than anything because it was made during my childhood. Um, but for you guys, what's your like favorite and least favorite thing about the uh, the, the first prequel? Mm. Now, That's a just to clarify, do you mean you mean just the Phantom Menace, right? Just yeah, Phantom Menace. Yeah. Okay. So I, well, I'm going to ask you this for each of them. To each be honest, question. So. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, okay. We'll come back to it once we get. You to want to tackle it first, Craig? Then. Damn it! I was going to defer to you because I can't think of anything. <laughs> nope, that's not how I, this works, man. I mean, I don't have any problems with the movie, well, so well, you I don't, don't think give there's me a any, least favorite. anything. Just give me a favorite. I don't. Then. I don't think there's anything that's a least favorite, and I think it's really hard for me to decide on what's my favorite. The thing, the the thing that always comes back to me the most about that movie in particular, is the, uh, the, I guess it's close to the f- final scene when they're. Uh, oh man! Now I'm not gonna be able to remember anybody's names. And I'm going to look like an idiot. Describe even them. Though this describe is the them. We can't thing. see you on the film right now, so describe is, yeah. them. <laughs> describe them with your words. We know how the podcast listeners feel. Obi Wan and Qui Gon are fighting. Oh my God. Why Darth can't Maul. I remember what his name Darth is? Maul. The Sith Lord. They're Thank Darth you Maul, very much. Yes, that's why we're here for. Man. <laughs> Real live I'm IMDb. So disappointed. Yes. I'm so, so disappointed in myself right now. It so helps. the part when they're, when, they're, when they're fighting him towards the end and they've got the. The, the doors that keep closing, yeah. that, that part sticks with me okay. the most. So I'm going to say that's my favorite. Oh, like the laser walls that were coming up? Yes, okay, yes. Yeah. And, and and it it really adds to the thing because it not only is it... So you your know, favorite part is when qui you... Jin dies. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Come yeah, on, man! <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Come on! Because <laughs> that's that scene. That scene is, that scene is when he dies. I know, that, I know that's the scene, but like... He likes I the build-up scene. Like, I'm, I'm, what I'm I like more about it is that is is with the with the with the laser walls opening and closing is it like back back when i was a kid it's like oh this makes it so much more intense yeah but then now when i think back on it i'm like yeah but it also adds to the emotional buildup of it because oh, agree, you've yeah. got 
Obi-Wan who's trying his damnedest to come in and save his master, and he can't, and it kind of paints the rest of the series. You can, so that's my favorite. You can really see, like, the angst that's building up, because, like, he runs through, and then he can't get anywhere, and, like, he keeps running from la- layer to layer to layer. Yeah. And you can see kind of the there. panic on his face, which, again, is just Ewan McGregor being a great actor. Yes. Like, being in the moment. Actor. The one thing that... I never picked up on it from, like, the original trilogy, like, you know, A New Hope through Return of the Jedi, was yeah. that, you know, the Sith and and uh, the Jedi really was a religion. I, I never really picked up yeah. on that kind of connotation. Neither did I, I agree. Like, Un- until but the, that's until they episode really build, one where they, they show really... Qui-Gon, you know, put, close the lightsaber and get down into, like, I'm going to say his prey pose, where he, like, Meditate. sits down and kind of meditates. And I was like... Yeah. Son of a bee, son of a bee, because I was, you know, six years old when it came out, so I, See, I wasn't for me, swearing it was at that point. They don't really dwell on it in the, in the original. No, and then, it, and then it becomes almost, like, in, in like, the, the prequel trilogy, it does yeah, almost become, religion, I'm not yeah. going to say Catholic or whatever, but it does kind of have that, like, that Religious little bit of, a, like, of a feel, reference yeah. to it, yeah. Where they're yeah, kind of, no, like, I'd working in, in the shadows type thing, and it wasn't yeah, until kind of then like that I... Monk hood, yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't until, you know, that actually the exact same scene that Craig just referenced where he does he does get down into his, uh, you know, like his, his prey pose. His yeah, when the laser pose. wall yeah. is separating them. Yeah, it was that. And it all comes back to laser walls. All walls, comes back. All of it comes back Breaking to these walls. laser fourth walls, man. <laughs> yes. That scene was probably one of my favorite scenes from the first one, too. I also like during that scene, they're flipping between them fighting and the... And what... Uh, what's going like on yeah yeah so you got anakin that's a, that's well, another thing i like is anakin. that they they kind of start off with the uh you know showing that anakin isn't touched with the uh like the technology like yeah. he, he does know he's a great pilot you know and they, yeah. they kind of start that yeah i, I like that like, like, little tim bit in a sense that he kind of kind of accidentally becomes a good pilot but it's also because he uses the force like like at, like when he's flying that's kind of implied I just got to go off does... topic right now. Did you just call it a Timbit? Yeah. He did. Instead yeah. of a tidbit. Canadian. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's how much Canadian support this podcast has, is we, we take we're, we're Canadian words for, and put a, it in. We're hoping for a donut sponsorship. Donuts. <laughs> we don't even want money. Just give us donuts. <laughs> that's what well, I was saying. Since like, we're already I'll off topic paid. anyway, <laughs> if you think about it really, tidbit and Timbit really aren't that far apart. I well, Tim, Timbit that. is context, made from the word tidbit. Okay, I in thought the they were the same word. The, well, well that pronounced a, differently, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> okay, but anyways, back it's, on a topic. Kind of back on to the Star Wars, yes. Yes. One, the only topic. Yes. One thing I do also like is that we um, we see that Anakin, like, uh, like you do get to see like where Anakin was raised a little bit. And he, I, I wish they kind of gave a little bit more of a backstory than it is there was just some magic shit happened but uh and that he was born because uh, i was a little too jesus baby for me uh but in like uh, i don't know if you guys have ever like looked into like star wars legends uh or the extra canon that used to be uh some of the books but in some of the books they explain that it was actually like um oh the emperor uh it's palpatine palpatine wow, yeah know. Yeah, that word See? Just it's lost thank on me. God it's not just yeah. me. <laughs> uh, but Palpatine and like his master were the ones that like somehow made her pregnant with Anakin. I've read and that kinda... because it was uh, Darth um uh with Darth Plagueis. Plagueis. Yeah. Yeah, he he could uh manipulate the midichlorians to like create life life itself type thing and it was I yeah, remember reading and, uh, it and they didn't kind of outright that say it. That just makes it, it but... so much more religion. Yeah. Well, see, I don't like. I think it's more religion. The fact that it sounds more like a Jesus baby. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, well, that's exactly <laughs> the, uh, what I mean. Is it the immaculate more Jedi conception? To Christianity. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of like, I kind of wish they dove a little bit more into that or made it a little bit more clear. Like, I would have liked if they put a Timbit into the like somewhere in the prequel trilogy, saying that like, you know, he hints at that that's what happened. But that's just me, though. Like I, I think something like that would be Tim like Nick. a great instead of you know or not instead of but as well as you know they just did uh, Rogue One now they're doing the Han Solo one, do like yeah. a Darth Darth Plagueis or do a uh, you know I Darth Sidious, that. you know yeah I would love both trilogy yeah, like or prequel him rise movie up to become a senator, 
Like, yeah. The fact that he, like... Or see, like, a be... young him go through the training yeah. to become the Sith, right? Exactly. I would love to see that. Like, I would... That's probably number two after wanting to see an Obi-Wan movie, I would say. Yeah. I would only uh, watch the there. Obi-Wan if it was Ewan McGregor again. Well, I've heard that he's agreed to come back for it if they... I hope watch. so. He's got great hair. Yes. He's got but how would hair. they... I mean, besides making him younger, like, the, the whole... The, the well, no, thing that happens with him between... Well, the thing that happens with him between uh, between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope is arguably quite boring. Well, see, that's if the you thing. You say this, if you, you take the story think it's line. boring, though, because you don't know that yeah. he stayed there the whole time, like for those 20-some-odd yeah. years. A, it's, it's implied because that was his entire purpose. Well, they imply that he's a hermit, but that, at the same time, that just means they think he doesn't ever leave. But it's like if you were going off to do like a mission to protect Luke from, let's say, like... Like, let's say Vader a, had some, like, hint that maybe there was something and there were some random bounty hunters that he had to get rid of or something along those lines. Or there's, like, trouble brewing that might bring the uh, Empire to ta- uh, to uh, Tatooine. And so he has to, like, interfere with that. But at the same time, the Skywalkers would never know about it. Because that's the only thing we know about Ben in the original trilogies is from what he tells Luke Skywalker and what, like, like Luke Skywalker says to his uncle about him or what his uncle says to him about him. Let's um, just see him nail hose left, right, and center, and then all of a sudden, somehow, Ray ends up being his kid. Boom. I'd be okay with that. I'd I'm totally okay down that. for that. I want her to be an Obi Wan because I love yeah or, a, a Kenobi. <laughs> a Kenobi, yeah. I was like, she wanted to be an Obi Wan. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Kenobi. I would love that. Ray um, be one. But <laughs> I, I I was trying to think of some transition. Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Solid segue. I went with it. Number Se- two. Segue. I like it. The second one. Uh, some people say the worst Star Wars. What do you guys think of that? Do you think it's that's the, worst the first Star Wars? one I really remember that well? Like that makes sense. Because I to me. I would have watched the Phantom Menace, but I really would have paid attention to Clone Wars. So yeah, you, you would have been old, you would have been able to like understand a little more than just and cool and now stuff. in hindsight. Yeah, it's not that great of a movie, but back then, love that. See, I have Attack of the Clones actually above on my... I was going to have you guys rank your favorite from best to worst later. (laughs) I'm so unprepared for that. Here, let me start writing notes while you talk. Sounds good. Uh, I I actually have that one above Revenge of the Sith and Phantom Menace. Oh, you like it better than those two? I like it better because it it wasn't... like I like that it kind of tied in. It had just enough fighting... Mixed with just yeah. enough actual plot. Fair enough, yeah. And, uh, I mean, The Phantom Menace is is my least favorite. Just because like, the other ones are so good. I mean, you yeah. can't have 100% and then even coming in at 99%, it's it's the worst, but it's still yeah, amazing. Yeah, you gotta put something last. Like, something sense. has to come in last place. Yeah, like, that was my same like kind of vote. I was like, I don't really think it's the worst, but at the same time, it's... It's like for me, it's it's, great. it's tied with the Phantom Menace probably as like my two. I don't want to say least favorites, but like the ones I probably go back to the, the least last amount. on the list of of awesome movies. Yeah, yeah. like well, like, like the quality the, star. Somebody the six, has the something has seed, to round out your top eight. Ex- yeah. The sixth <laughs> seed in the playoffs when, is still the worst of all the playoff teams, but it's better than so many other teams, right? Exactly. When it comes it's to, still a Star Wars movie. Exactly. <laughs> the, it's not the like only... the Star Trek movies that like have like really big dips in quality. They're just like a little bit less like like they're miss like the reason Revenge of the Sith is above them both for me is because Revenge of the Sith has that one fight with Anakin and and, and Obi uh, the most right at the fight. end. Yes. One, yeah, like and it's perfect and I loved that scene when I was a kid and I still to this day I watched it over the weekend. Last See, weekend. The, the reason it's it's my second from the last is cuz I thought it yeah. was too much action. And not that I hate action movies, I, I love them. It was yeah. it was too much conflict built in and I know the whole movie's built off of conflict. Yeah. But they could have it was it was it was too much. I mean, and they kind of crammed a few things in here, you know, here and there without d- delving into it too much. So that that's why I have uh, Attack of the Clones higher up on my list, and yeah, I, uh, I love that you and McGregor got to be a little bit of not middle aged, but you know, mid twenties to thirties, where he's still young yeah. and figuring out his way and his path. But mm-hmm. at the same time, he's like, "Fuck this guy, man! I'm supposed to yeah. lead this guy? Come on, son." <laughs> You got the idea more if he was an older brother in that. Yeah, one. that's like, what it is. You get you got to see yeah. the relationship, right? 
Yeah, I really agree. I like I, I really like I like it. I wouldn't say like I really enjoy it, but I really oh I really enjoy all Star Wars. So I think the I worst part uh, of it is Hayden yeah. Christensen. I uh, would say it's more like his interact, like his lines sometimes. Like I don't like blaming him. He's for he's kind of whiny. Him. His character he, is whiny in that one. He, but that's because uh, his lines. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. He's he's not a very good tennis player either. <laughs> Fun facts tennis? that I can throw out. Yes, <laughs> I saw I saw Hayden Christensen play tennis in uh, in Toronto. Oh, okay. I Sounds was like, awful, is that a movie I'm not thinking of? <laughs> yeah. like, no, 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 no. Like I actually, no, no, he wasn't push. He, he was jump, right? When, yeah. when I was in college, I decided there was a there was some I don't even remember what it was. There was, was some it a cute special. Girl? There no, I went, I went by myself. Oh, damn. This is... You, you could have lied to us, man. You could have lied for the I podcast. Did. I went by myself. I'm I'm going to be completely honest with the listeners this week, because I've already offended everybody. So whoever's That's left true. gets this lovely story about me driving all the way to Toronto, going to the ACC to watch uh, a, a tennis match between Pete Sampras and Milos Raonic. Um, but they had, like, a celebrity thing where uh, okay. where Hayden Christensen was playing. And the, so, yeah, he's the best that. celebrity and they could come up with. <laughs> that was, that just, happened, was that just happened to be who it was. And then they mic'd them up, so he talked the entire time. He's not such a bad guy. He just isn't a great tennis player. He's just player. such a bad say, tennis player. He's a bad tennis player, apparently. Uh, yeah. but And he had some bad lines that he had to work with. Like, how would you deliver that, that sad line, man? Like, <laughs> That's fair, yeah. That's just a bad line. And he's, he I think just, have, he was, like, the thing that comes to my mind when I say he's, he's kind of whiny and snivelly is just a, yeah. I'm sorry, master. Like, he just seems so, so awkward. But you yeah. have to keep in mind the age, too. That's true, That's I what guess. I was going to say. And I, I, pict- I picture him as being 20, but I guess he was, what, teenager. 16 or something. Exactly. And I know those teenagers, and they're terrible. <laughs> yes, teen- teenagers Aren't we are all? terrible. Teenagers don't <laughs> listen to us, and we were them once, too. So that's true. That's that is true. I'm allowed to we say still that. are. We forgot to grow up, man. That, that's yes. true. My my driver's license says I'm older than I am. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Anyways, but do you guys want to hear my trivia fact for Clone Wars? Yes. Now, yes, Is this a please. trivia fact or is this just a fun fact? Like, are you asking uh, us trivia style or is this just a fun fact? Oh, yeah. Are you going to ask us Oh, it's more of a fun an fact. They're, they're we were fun on the fun. reach for the top teams, so. Okay, yeah, man. That's We're fair. the best of the best here. Reach for the. We got middle. kicked out of a game. It'll we be did. more. I'll tell you a tri- like something. It was. I got these all off of IMDb. It had a little trivia category, but it's more oh, of just so a no fact cheating, I'll read then, you okay. guys or a fun fact I'll read you guys that you can tell me if you knew or not. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, that works. Sure. Yeah. So when Anakin is killing the Tusken Raiders, okay. uh, that killed his mama. You can hear Quagon's voice in the background. This is canon as his force ghost being there trying to stop him from doing it. Did you guys know that? No. Notice or it. hear his voice? No. Nope. But it's been a while yes. since I've seen it. Clearly, I, I just did not pay attention enough. I was not paying attention clearly enough either last weekend when I rewatched it because I don't remember hearing anything in the background. But when I read that, I was like, I vaguely remember maybe hearing something in the background. That sounds like a very Star Wars thing. I think all I heard was wrong, wrong, wrong from the lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. And some exactly. screaming, maybe, from the... Uh... And some intense music, I think. But Probably. apparently this is a fact, and I like that. I like the idea of Quagon's, like, force ghost. Maybe like, watching over him? Yeah, exactly. Trying to, like, keep him on the path to the... Him being like, oh, I fucked up, bro. I fucked yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> I, f- I should have left that kid on fucking... God damn it. Tattooing. This is all me. Damn it. Oh, Thank shit. God I'm dead. Obi Wan was so fucking right. <laughs> Same with Yoda. I should. Have... Why doesn't anybody ever listen to Yoda? <laughs> no. Why did I have to be Yoda. a total hippie? Nobody at all listens to Yoda through the entire series. That's true. No. And anytime anyone does, they just give him attitude and go the opposite direction. Exactly. But we'll That's get so to that. True. We'll get to that eventually. Yeah. Once we make it to that movie. Yes. Oh, is, is that what you guys were texting about before? No. No. Uh, no. Actually, no. Damn no, I had, uh, I, had <laughs> I had, more important thoughts about uh, Force Awakens, but we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, we still got a few more movies to get through. Did you guys have any other thoughts about Clone Wars? Other than I, I really liked it. Um, yeah. I, I do, at the end of it, I remember reading a few things and a couple of, uh, like, theories from fans yeah. uh, a couple years ago, I imagine. But uh, it was kind of implying that 
Padme never really wanted to marry and get with the uh, get with the uh, man. Now I'm forgetting the name. Anakin. Anakin. Yeah. Jeez, it's going around. All of us. But uh, anyways, it couldn't like she didn't really want to because at the beginning she does fight it, and there are a few moments through the movies where like there's that intimate moment and then she's like, nope, can't do this, and she gets kind of angry about it. Yeah. And then at the end, all of a sudden, just kind of out of out of the blue, out of nowhere, they're getting hitched. Mm-hmm. And I, I remember reading that a couple of the fan theories where he was using the Force to, you know, kind of melt her mind, like, and, oh, like, convince shit. her, you know, Obi-Wan's, these are not the droids you're looking you for. <laughs> you will love me. This is the penis you're looking for type thing. <laughs> and I remember reading that and being like, if that's true, that's super dark. And that is that's very, really up. very <laughs> creepy. But at I the like same time, with... like, I kind of like that idea. I I do and I don't. Like, I kind of... Like, it's creepy as all hell, but at the same time, I like it kind of sh- foreshadowing that he is, you know, he is, you know, he does a have that dark God side. Yeah. person. Like, now that you say that, I kind of like the, like, if they I like the put, concept. Like, yeah, like, I like the concept. And if they had, like, planted more of a seed in the movie, like... You see him like you know, like, like studying something like that, or like you well, know, when I when I've gone back and like watched that. it like a few times, like and I now that I've thought about it and I've seen it, like after yeah. I read it, I've, I've I I kind of see it, but it's not something I went out of my way to look for, right? Yeah. And like he and, does, he does have his his demons, like you know when he's dreaming about his mother and having his mm-hmm. nightmares and stuff, and you do kind of see like he has that dark those dark demons inside of him. So yeah. I guess it kind of makes sense in retrospect, looking at it and saying, "Well, he does have that dark, you know, that little bit of a shadow but inside him. Maybe, it, maybe like it's subconsciously coming." To, yeah, that's true. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Maybe it was more of like a, a like subconscious, like a subconscious, thing. like because I was thinking there's one scene where he's like meditating and then she, like while she was sleeping or something because he was yeah. having trouble sleeping. And I'm like, could that be when he was messing with her? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And even like if messing it's while not... she's sleeping. Because that, that makes sense to me, but at the same time... Well, he, he is very easily persuaded, so maybe, like, yeah. other than that, maybe it's, like, someone using, like, telepathic force waves to, like, control him. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know if the movies yeah. are that in-depth. No, into the no, force, not though. that in-depth. <laughs> well, the that, thing... Sounds the like thing, a clone Star Wars... Sithception. Uh, Wars the other thing to keep in mind, too, though, is that... Um, even if it doesn't show it all that much in the movie pre the Disney takeover of Lucasfilm, the, the everything else was literally open to fan interpretation. That's true. Yeah. Like, the, like the, uh, the entire Star Wars universe was basically built on fan interpretation. That's true. Yeah. Like, Which like Luke being, you know, having gone to the dark side in between Empire and uh... man, I like all the extra stuff. Yeah. See, I like the extra stuff, but I like now that it's all classified as legends and it's more of a oh well, this is maybe a rumor that maybe happened but yeah. you don't know is actually part of it but there's a natural like legit storyline like i like the idea of them leaving blanks in the storyline where you can be like oh maybe that happened like you like, know, like the year years gaps. in between yeah uh, yeah like little gaps no you're not 20 like 10 <laughs> but yeah. that for some of the old legend stuff can fall in but at the same time craig there's way too much legend stuff that's why i was happy to get rid of it because I don't know if you ever tried to look into trying to catch up on any of those old series, but there's literally I've, thousands. I of spent stuff a lot of time on on the stuff that happened after Jedi. Yeah, well, there's a lot of books on that. Is what I'm saying, like a lot, exactly, like, ridiculous amount. Like I had loved it. I, I had like Splinter of the Mind's Eye and a, that whole trilogy or series when I was younger. And it's just like there's so many. It's so hard to try and keep track of any of it because there's no like legit like set up so when disney bought it i was happy and that they picked out like certain things because now there's a natural timeline there's more books and comics you can go read to get extra backstory yeah so I've been yeah to. i think the only thing that i don't like about that is that because disney now has it nobody else can use it so there won't be any more of that extra stuff for those of us who aren't that picky i get what you mean but that doesn't mean nobody can that's not like it's harder it's Cause much it's harder before, i'll agree it's not like i can go I, I can't go write a star wars book now and publish it on my own and not have a problem from george lucas because george lucas isn't in charge anymore like i agree that kind of sucks but at the same time people could also be more creative with their own things <laughs> go make your own star wars that's fair <laughs> like like i love star wars too but I, I also like i like the idea that it's a little bit more structured uh just a little bit like i agree it kind of sucks, and I kind of maybe 
Like, I don't know this for sure, actually. Maybe there are still make, like letting people make... Well, they probably are, but it has to be sanctioned. Fall into yeah. That's, that's yeah, the which is issue. like I think is fine. Like it's if it's not part of the actual story, but they're still saying, yeah, you can use these characters a little bit. You just don't get to say it's a natural Star official Wars story. story. You have to say it's yeah. a legends. It's kind of like yeah, and then they have a lot more to play with too, because then they can be like, well, I won't play with the li- canon characters. Yeah, they'll say we'll I like that. Into. We're gonna make this canon because it's actually pretty catchy and people enjoy it. Yeah, and that's happened before. Like Coruscant, that's a actual like from the the um, legends. Um, was adopted by uh, George Lucas from the Legends, uh, one of the le- before the books were Legends. One of those books he uh, took Coruscant from, or comics. One I can't remember now exactly what it was, but yeah, Coruscant. Something. He took from Words. The idea from that, yeah. <laughs> Words stuff. Literature. Pictures. Revenge of the Sith. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Using Another words transition. just to tra- yes. transition. I like it. <laughs> so, so we don't linger too long. We've got a lot of these movies to get through. <laughs> But what was your guys's? We already talked about how my favorite scene was that fight scene at the end. What was what was your guys's favorite scenes in the uh, Revenge of the I, Sith? I think I feel like just because. Oh, you go okay, ahead. Craig. I took the lead on the last one. I think, but that's fine. I think that's the. Uh, <laughs> that would be the point where. Yeah, I agree with that scene. I can't remember okay. having an issue with that's... that movie either. I love how that's Craig's favorite things with things. It's like, yeah, I, I didn't, I hate the movie. So yeah, I guess that was my favorite I, part. Like, oh, see, I had, I don't have that scene is my favorite scene too. Things. Okay. Anyway, that scene is my favorite scene too, and like, I feel like I have to be original now. So no, no, no. I'm gonna say unanimous. just when, uh, when just do it, just go yes. with it. Yes. We're unanimous on. That. We're unanimous, but or my unanimous? favorite scene option B, dose. Yeah. Uh, would probably just be when they show Vader at the end, you know, where he's be- finally become Darth Vader and he's that was a pretty great. He's clad scene. in you know his yeah. new stuff and he's like, no, because well, no, then he tells him they died. Arnold, <laughs> and you know, uses and yeah. the Force shakes the. Sh- I don't even know if, it, if it's a ship or if it's like in a lab somewhere, whatever it is, and he shakes the whole the side. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I like that scene too. I was gonna say the one of my other favorite scenes is when um, Yoda's Obi-Wan's fighting fi- Grievous. Oh, Grievous, yes, uh, yes. What were you going to say? I was going to say Obi-Wan fighting, uh, fighting, um, Palpatine. Man, the whole Order 66 thing's pretty good, too, now that I'm remembering it. No, I think, doesn't fight no that's Palpatine. a different one, different one. I, never mind, never mind, totally. I was thinking clones yeah, right Yoda, there. Yeah, Yoda, Yoda yeah, fights the clones. Palpatine in that one. Um, but, uh, Windu fights him. Yeah. And then fries him with the electricity. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, that scene always, and then that dies. always a little bit, like, <laughs> iffy, though, because I always hate, like, how easily... Anakin just decides in that second to kind of like you know what I mean like the just mid fight like felt weird a little forced yeah. so I was like yeah I get we need to force it but it could have I felt like it could have been smoother why you have to kill, my main problem is why you have to kill Mace Windu like <laughs> racist really? that's your problem <laughs> racist not why did you have to kill all the that children was my problem. I don't care he had to go to he, he, he had, had the had purple lightsaber that that Man. I'm okay with that speaking of those children actually did you guys know. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I'll but, still be fiery mad got, about the children when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's actually okay. about the children. One of the children was actually George Lucas. I think I knew kid. that. Oh, really? And he cameo. dies. Goddamn. He was he was the one that was running towards um Bell O'Grana's um uh speeder when Bale goes to check on the am I saying yeah. his name right? Bale. Bale. Bale O'Grana. Yeah. Yep. Bale? Okay. Bale O'Grana. Uh when he was like, going to check on the Jedi Temple and the clone troopers tell him to leave. And that kid that tries to like run out to him at that time and get shot down, that's George Lucas's kid. Oh, okay. That did a little cameo, and I was like, oh, that's a cool little trivia, but that wasn't even my trivia for this one. Oh, damn. What were you going to say about the kids, Craig? <laughs> well, I haven't seen that movie in a while, so now it's all coming back to me. And, like, that scene. Because yeah. when you kiss me like this. That was, that was me singing some, uh, some meatloaf. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Obs- obscure reference, my bad. <laughs> That's okay. As soon yeah. as you started singing, I knew, what you were, I knew where you were going. Um, uh, out of the frying pan and into the fire. <laughs> that scene makes me very sad, always. And now that I'm remembering it, that doesn't help either. That's it. That's Oh, yeah, no. Like, I understand why you did it, and it's entirely important, yeah. and it really just ups the emotional level, but at the same time, 
I would. I'm far more upset. I'm far more kids. upset that they the children made them, like, are teenagers dead. Well, or exactly. Something. I'm far more <laughs> upset that the children are dead than that Mace Windu got thrown out of a building. Yeah, no, I'm still more upset about Mace Windu because <laughs> I get the children was more of a plot point. You didn't have to kill Mace Windu as a. Well, plot he was going to have to die eventually. Him out. Yes, and everybody no. dies eventually. <laughs> Scott just wants Mace Windu back. Every, I want there to be a little more ink. I just want there to be more ambiguity well, do you want him to, to just, it. So that did you want him just to die? To and like, then that was it. And, and, not, and then you're not even yeah. seeing maybe, it. Maybe no, just maybe. No, like I like. Well, you kind of you can see him get thrown too far. Is all I'm saying. If it was a little less of a drop, I could <laughs> yeah. have believed he survived. <laughs> a little, and then little that, less that little dramatic. <laughs> yeah, of flying. Like, I see, so I see where far, Scott's like, going with it is that Scott wants the chance of uh, Mace Windu to come back in back. one of these movies. Yeah. And I think that they... Pretend he's okay. somehow being... What's his name's dad? Yeah. It would make no Finn, sense. Oh, yeah, it'd be Finn's, Finn's dad. Finn's okay. Dad. I don't know why, because I'm one of those crazy fans I, like that. I think that... Okay, you, you wanted to kind of like how they, they imply at the end of um, The Phantom Menace that, you know, Darth Maul's dead after being sliced in half. And then yeah. in the in the cartoons and the comic books, he comes back and he's got like robo spider legs. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like that that pretty you want something like that with Mace Windu where he gets thrown out sense. the window and he turned he's and you know back the, into the see, cripple guy. I yeah. think that if okay. they did that, okay. that would be the point where it jumps the shark for me. I yeah. I don't think I could enjoy it after see, you've done that much. You say that like jump in the sharks about It wasn't good for <laughs> happy days. So there's no way you know, it could be a good you thing know, for you. You brought up else. a point. You brought up a point. There's no sharks in Star Wars. Yeah. Complaint. That's my only complaint about Star Wars. There's no sharks. We got big. We got Yetis. We got Kash- was it Kashyyyk? That's yeah. got the uh, got all the Yetis, but no yeah, sharks. Wookiees around Kashyyyk. No Fair sure. enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Did I say, say Yeti? Yeti? I mean, I, the I difference meant, uh, between Wookiee Wookie and Yeti. Really I see. I thought he was doing it as a joke. I thought it was a joke. Oh. <laughs> it might have. It might have been a subconscious joke. I don't know. I was like, yeah, they're pretty much Yetis it's... or. Like or there Sasquatch isn't much of a difference. Yeah, there, there's some things. <laughs> they're all, they're pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, like another thing that I kind of found funny about that movie and totally unnecessary was the was the ship that Yoda goes in like takes off from when he leaves Kashyyyk, and uh, Chewbacca yeah. and the other and the other Yeti. Mm-hmm. That one was a joke, Craig. And the other and the other Wookiee send him uh, send him off. Like he's the fucking yeah. only person who could ever fit in that ship. Like yeah. was, who the hell it's builds a, a ship. specific ship just for just one Yoda. dude? <laughs> yeah, I do. I always am, like fascinated in any movie or TV show when that somebody has such a specific, like, yeah. big thing made for them. It's like, you know, that was literally only made for you. Like no one else. It's not like that's a common thing. <laughs> like, like th- that's like, one thing in all that size. in all <laughs> movies and TV shows, not just yeah. you know Star Wars, everything. Where they design something and they just happen to have it look perfect, like it's the Mark Thirty version. Like in the yeah. Flash, every time Cisco makes a new weapon or anything, they yeah, just happen perfect. to have the exact tools lying around to make that just weapon. The, parts the casings for it, or, like it, or they're missing one part and they yeah. don't have to get one part. Like but, that stuff, like that, drives me nuts. Yeah, you don't Back like to Star plot Wars. points. Yeah, plot devices. The, yeah, no, I, I don't like the, the some of them. They're just too no, much. I can't wrap my head around. Some are just not like thought out enough. <laughs> like, it's like they they need it. Them. They need that for the plot device, like to make it work, because they need that for I the mean, plot. And they're like, yeah. oh well, he just then, made it. And then you and like, yeah, but how would he make it? I just well, he just made well, it. Well, then think about the the it. pod racers in in Phantom Menace. You, these all these uh, all these people on Tatooine, which is supposed to be like the slum of the galaxy. Uh, just have these multi-million credit machines that they've put together from scrap heaps. Who pays yeah, for the yeah, gas? Then you see Anakin. Well, then you no, see Anakin, well, hey, and no Anakin's gas. a total junker. But it like, flies. Like his pod race I is challenge, a total piece of crap. I challenge you parts. to go that's what, to that's a, what I'm saying. Go like to a junkyard they, and build an airplane. Well, job of the HUD's also involved. He's got well, money. He he probably has like you know his his super I'm sketchy. Making, I'm I'm making I'm making a devil's ad, your advocate point. Not fair. It's a talking but, point. No, it's not a hundred percent fair comparison. If I went to a airplane, uh, what's it called? Yes. Scrapyard. I'd probably be able to you make a plane. Be able to, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, so like the fact that he works for somebody who sells parts for a pod racer, or she's a slave to him technically. Uh, but <laughs> was he was could probably get some <laughs> of the stuff. Yeah, because I was a slave, uh, and so. That it makes sense that he could, and all the other racers are more 
aren't the poor people of the thing they're all the rich people because that's why they could afford it that's why anakin could never enter his own pod racer because he couldn't afford it and so Bulba's not even the best racer of them all exactly. like he was he wasn't even in first place in the race he was barely ever like he, <laughs> like he was just, he just dirty that's all yeah. he, like that's what you find out he was just a dirty racer but like i thought it was <laughs> funny that they everybody. made it seem like he wins everything guaranteed but he, he wasn't even like he, he wasn't even the, <laughs> the first seed He's a cheater, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> cheater, like, cheater, oh, pumpkin cheater. eater. Okay. Uh, but we somehow hopped back to Phantom Menace when we were You're uh, welcome. talking about Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. Oh, what's the Did next you... uh, the next little interesting yeah, fact? Yeah, because I don't really have anything else to add about oh, I was Revenge of the say. Sith. Yeah, so in, I didn't really either. So that's why we're going to the trivia fact. And yes. we'll hop on to the original trilogy. Uh, but the, tr- the fact I have is one I actually mentioned to you guys before. Uh, we start recording, which is that the distribution rights for the original Star Wars and the prequels, so like then released on VHS and DVD, is actually still owned by 20th Century Fox, and they won't be reverting back to um, Marvel now. I mean, not Marvel, Disney now until 2020. So that's why it's hard to go find a box set for all the the Star Wars movies. You can't get them as a six pack. Okay, you have to buy the two separate like threes. That. Yeah, because that's still Fox delivering them, uh, selling them, and. Okay. Fox, I don't think, has like really released any new things in the last few years because they don't want to help Disney. Yeah. Uh, so that's why you haven't really got like too much new uh, of the original stuff. It's also why you see them doing the re, uh, doing a bunch of different um, special editions back. Like the, the re, day. like the remastered stuff. Yeah, because that helped them like renegotiate like a better deal with um, them. Each don't time. even get me started huh? on anything. Oh, if remastered. you want the rights to this. <laughs> but I actually have the original original. Uncut, like unremastered, original released. Like, see, box my dad, I, I had them oh, originally damn. too. I think my dad ripped them all onto onto a hard drive, but he's he nice. bought all the DVDs. And then the last time I got to watch those DVDs, he played the remastered, recut versions, and I'm like, this is. This is ridiculous. Yeah, there's a few things that I don't love. I, it's like just like pawn shot <laughs> first, jackass. It's just, <laughs> I I understand why they did it, and maybe they wanted to change some things and use the new technology they had available to them. But at the same time, That's exactly that is it. not it was what I George remember. Lucas. So please, I don't ever want to watch that. Yeah, I, I think That's they did fair. it to kind of make this make some of the like the Han shot yeah, first thing. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, there I think I think they went back and changed that just to so like younger people and maybe some moms out there who uh, thought Star Wars was maybe a little too aggressive for their little Nancy yeah. pretty boys, uh, just to wow. make him a little more of an acceptable role model character. I uh, that's possible. Whereas I, you know, I, he, at first he was just he was just a he was a thug really you know he was yeah. just he was a hired that's the, gun that's the whole is all character. he was. I know that. That's why I liked it like that. But then yeah. you know the the Han shot burst thing where he do, he sh- he shoots Greed Greedo out of cold blood, just because he can, <laughs> like to go back and cover that up and be like, oh no, he, he didn't he didn't. Why didn't do you it. Really out of cold blood? Greedo was Greedo was reaching. I could see a reach. I would have shot Greedo too. <laughs> would, you shot have, would you have, Scott? He was reaching. He was reaching. <laughs> I, I okay. knew he was going to get you're, shot. You're not a murderer. I, I know you. You wouldn't have shot him. If if he was reaching and. Uh, and I you would have flipped the table and hid behind it. I know you. Okay, in in this scenario, I'm not solo. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> in this scenario, I have a big Wookiee as a backup. I don't need to flip shit. <laughs> was Chewbacca even there? No. I didn't think he was, was in that scene. Sh- That's why he had to shoot. That's he fair because he didn't have the <laughs> laser crossbow to back him up. Gotcha. Yeah, which is apparently awesome. And we, with we that, that out later, we have like fifty and years with that, later. We have found our way into the golden age of Star Wars, as some can argue, the original trilogy. Yeah, the originals. Man. We might as well. We've already because uh, we've already there's a the there's a new hope new for hope. our podcast yeah. now. I knew I knew you were gonna go do that, and I love that. <laughs> I'm so happy you made that. <laughs> nice little but wordplay. We're just segue. talking about Han Solo, so I'm guessing he's your guys' favorite. Man, I always like character Luke. from the originals. Oh, you were more of a, that makes yeah. sense. You, I you really didn't like identify Luke. so much with... Literally look like Luke. Well, you can't see me right now. You have no idea. <laughs> have you dyed your hair in the last he, he's, week? He's sitting, <laughs> he's sitting there wearing Han's vest, <laughs> saying it's Luke. But he's got the Lando yes. mustache. Yeah. <laughs> the Lando exactly. mustache and the chewy bullet, bullet exactly. sash. Oh. And Leia's, Leia's curls. Like her, her yeah, side like, buns. Nice. Uh, 
You know what's uh, actually something I read? This is just a little kind of on topic. So Boba Fett, do you, I don't know if you guys know this. He's got like a little furry patch on his um, on his shoulder in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. That's a um, that's a Wookiee scalp. Oh damn! I didn't know it was a Wookiee. I scalp. read that was one of the trivia things I read. That's not damn. the one I wrote down either. But that was one random trivia damn. one I read, and I was like, that's cold. But the trivia, the rest of that trivia was the guy who was playing him thought that that was a hairpiece, and he originally tried to put it on as a wick. <laughs> <laughs> when he takes the helmet off, hairpiece. Yeah, the, the goes Wookiee off. hair, the Wookiee thing. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was supposed to be under the helmet. It wasn't. It, it was Toupee fat. Shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought that was a random fact uh, that that just reminded me of though because we were talking about Wookies. But from the original trilogy, when do you? I I can't remember when I first watched them. I just remember I've always known I, Star Wars. I was definitely under ten. Yeah, I think I'm in the same boat. Yeah, I I feel like it was it was definitely before the Phantom Menace came out. I was, same here. But I was probably like six or seven and didn't really fully understand what Star Wars was. I was probably like, ooh, spaceships, bang bang. I think that's the part that appealed to me the most too. Like I don't think I like understood it, but I, I understood what I liked about it back then. You know, I got, I caught the, oh, like, yeah. the kiddie, the the parts that a kid would like about it. Because I mean, George Lucas has said himself, Star Wars was written for kids. Uh, oh yeah, for kids so that kids tell their parents. To I actually buy the merch. Yeah. My my first yeah. remember the first thing I can remember about Star Wars. First of all, is my dad had a really, really bad Star Wars related game because he grew up in the in when it was when it was happening right he remembers going to see it in theaters um so he had a a really really bad it was like the entire thing was based around shutting off the tractor beam and that was the game but that's also related to my first ever games games back in the day weren't as good it was uh, you know how many times i played that stupid game exactly like the same probably the same number of times i played that exactly (laughs) and then uh, Pod racer racing on N sixty four. So fair game. Not over. not caused by that, but definitely related to that. The scene that I remember the most from A New Hope is the scene where Obi Wan's shutting off the tractor beam, and the trash compactor. Trash compactor is a great scene. Um, my f- my scene f- I remember the most would probably be like when. I don't know. I remember the whole movie pretty well. Yeah, well, yeah, now I, I do, it, but like, definitely the... Ago, I watched it like two days ago, yeah. I was trying to think of what stuck out more, but now I'm just thinking trash. Yeah, it's because it's a good it. one. It's Aside from hand. all of the flaws, yeah, it's, a good it's a really good scene. And it gets a callback in what? Force Awakens. Tell me, tell me well, a flaw I mean, in besides it. the fact that there's all this water and a thing that lives inside of the trash compactor, even though the walls close in and you should theoretically die every time. And the Death Star, somehow that's their best method for getting rid of trash. And everybody's trash goes in there. Uh, Not everyone's. It does, that's the, that was only the shoot from the detention center. So, you know, just a... Just, and they why also was there that, that there much garbage machines? in the detention just, yeah. center? Yeah, where is how all many, of this How many people from? were were going into why? the? De- Who's why did they the even giant? have a detention center when only one person sat Who's, in it? Why do you guys only? It's, it's, it's a, supposed to be a long term thing. Thousands of yeah. thousands of yeah. people <laughs> on that starship. There's thousands. It's a whole like it's a base. It's just, it's just like. It's like it's a it's an aircraft carrier in space times a hundred. It, it's <laughs> like it's it's got a lot of people. It's gonna have a couple brigs. <laughs> like it's gonna have a couple couple places to put the trash. And it's gonna have a lot of trash. I just like I the agree. family guy. It was weird. With... It was weird space yeah. trash. And, I and agree the that trash the... compactor can be stopped in theory, in their theory, by by putting the uh, the bar in the middle. That was that's the scene that. That, that's the part of the scene that makes me laugh just a tiny <laughs> no, I know they, they tried, tried it, didn't it didn't work, stop but it, though. you have to wonder what goes through their mind is they're like capable of doing all of these things and the first thing you think of is put this metal bar across that should stop the thing that's designed to break this wait what what else could they do with the trash compactor well, Craig not not Tell in me. the trash compactor I'm not saying anything about the trash compactor, but, that's, but their, that, minds, that their, only their minds their minds their minds have in the, ability the trash to, compactor how are they supposed to get well, out what else are you gonna do <laughs> That's what I'm asking you. You're the one who's saying it was I, weird that they I did that. I would have just done like, nothing. Well, if it was trying to crush me, I would have done the same thing. I would have just done nothing. I would have been like, there's I, no way this hoped. works because it's broken, so we're all going to die, and that's it. No, you're hoping to slow it down, which it might have, until R2 and C-3PO responded to the transmission. I watched this two days ago. So. Okay, before you guys... I've got, it's fresh in my memory. <laughs> before you guys strike each other 
Let's move on to Empire you, you Strikes Back. You guys can't back. see me laughing over here, but I I am. Um, this is you know how you know how entertaining it is to get Scott going about this. He's very passionate. I know okay. he is. I'm I trying to get more thing. passion from him by Star making Wars. straw man <laughs> arguments. <laughs> well, because one of my things about movies is like when people don't like point out like plot holes and like you just didn't think about oh, the I plot agree. hole. Enough. It wasn't a plot hole. I agree. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be the voice of the listener here. Guys, guys, I segued, okay? I worked hard Your segue doesn't matter. Segway. See, you, you, you pushed on the bruise now. <laughs> you hopped over my trivia point. I had a trivia point for the first one. We skipped I would love it. Hit Scott, us with the trivia. I would love to hear your trivia point. It, it, it was the first film to ever make over $300 million. Yeah. I thought you were going to say 300 million it, movies, and I was like, oh, damn. Um, I, I almost said, I, I was trying to get <laughs> I said millions, and then it, it's it, almost blurred it, together. It was ridiculously damn. popular. For a movie that had, yes. like, still you had, is. You had no frame of reference for it because there wasn't all the hype that goes around it. Zero. And they didn't know that it was going to continue on. So it's a, nope. well, cause it's a self-contained was supposed story. It was supposed to be, like, a clip from a, uh, like, it was supposed to be, like, a little episode from, like, a theoretical thing and that was the idea of it and it's just like oh yeah but then it ended up being so popular and he sold so many yeah. toys that it's, he had to a, keep doing it. it's a it's a it's a it's supposed to be a self-contained story that it's and yeah. i'd say it's probably the only appropriate sequel to a self-contained story because i hate it when the, this is off topic but i hate it when they pull sequels out of the air but almost yeah. as much as i hate yeah, when they fair. end a movie hoping to angle for a sequel yeah. Oh, so I those two things, and this um, is the only movie. Like the Iron this Giant. Is, this, yeah. This would be about the only movie I can think of where it's actually self-contained and ends at a point, and yet still has an appropriate sequel, multiple appropriate sequels. Yeah, and they like, and they never even had to. Well, because I think that's because like you can they, interpret it as like if they had never made any more, you could have interpreted the first one as being the end of the story. Like at the end, the Empire is defeated. Like you could, you could make that like kind of that assumption if the rest of the movies didn't exist based off of it if you just watched it because they say in the movie in the a new hope like they say this themselves that they're like if this is their uh like if we take down the death star then the empire will be crippled so it's like you kind of get the impression once they beat the death star that the whole the whole thing's done right and that's why they do the whole celebration at the yeah, end of the, the first end, one yeah. and it's like because he wanted to like cap it he he capped it off so that if it didn't ever go popular which is what he was kind of expecting more than anything let's like he was he was hoping it would and he kind of it was kind of accidental explosion right like yeah exactly he didn't expect it to be as big as it was that's why Uh, he just kind of the empire strikes back exactly see that was a better segue than my previous segue (laughs) jackass (laughs) taking my thunder that's my first ever but, podcast segue that actually worked. Nine episodes, and I true. finally that's threw true. one in there. But you gotta try to sing it next time, though. Come up with Maybe a song. My voice isn't acting up. That's still my goal. I'm still trying to figure out a <laughs> song segue. I <laughs> could <laughs> have. Okay. Empire. Empire Strikes Back. So I wanted to ask you guys what your guys' first thought of Yoda was, like the puppet Yoda back in the day. And. Do you prefer Puppet, puppet Yoda, Yoda or CGI Yoda? Every single time. The first thing Yoda. I... Th- yeah. The first thing I think of is there's a video Man, going around. I knew you were going to say that. As you started singing. to say the seagull it, one? in my head, all I hear is the stupid seagull song. Yeah. <laughs> You've never seen this? Oh, it's so fun. I'll send you... Oh, oh Scott, God, you're missing so out. We're gonna- stop. Oh, it's it's like a lip. It's like a dubbed over it's, version. It's, it's like, a bad lip the, reading with like a, a song. F- f- yeah. And... <laughs> oh. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Seagulls, huh? Stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. And like, and like, it's weird because like, if you look like closely, it kind of it kind of works. There... <laughs> it works. Puppet, the, but the puppet would make sense. His no, mouth, but even his Luke mouth, talks yeah. to him. Luke talks oh, to him. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's amazing. Great. Whoever came up with it, kudos it, to them. 
there there aren't very many things <laughs> that I that I watch on Facebook and I laugh out loud and then do it again and it's oh, the God. same thing. But that that video every me single my, time. Me and my brother have been sending each other that video for like three years now. <laughs> we still it, every time it pops up, we just keep it's sending it so back to each funny. other. So funny, because because it's still funny. That's my interpretation of uh, Puppet Yoda, is that great, great <laughs> catchy-ass, annoying songs are made. Okay. Uh, I, I prefer... Well, I'm on Craig's side. Yeah. I, I prefer, prefer Puppet Yoda Puppet over Yoda CGI well. Yoda, just because there's more constraints. I prefer the, the entirety of the special effects in the original trilogy over the, over the prequels. The exactly. The, just the yeah, amount of the amount of effort well, that went into just it. for Yoda. For Ed, his mouth, his mouth moves. Yeah. It's not just like a puppet, where and you can't see me doing the the whole Muppet hand puppet thing. But no, that's what's happening on no. this side of the world, and uh, exactly just like <laughs> that, Scott. And and yeah. but but his, mouth is, his well. mouth is articulate though. It's not it's not just a big flappy thing, like Jim Henson is known for. Yeah. It's it's like it's it like mm -hmm. you can see that it's making things. See, for, for me, I think the reason I like, not maybe not just Papa Yoda, but I like original trilogy Yoda, was because he was more of that, you know, that kind of handicapped, crippled He was supposed to be mentor. a crazy person. He didn't yeah, have to do delusional. as much. He was a little delusional. <laughs> he was a little crazy. <laughs> he, he was probably popping some type of uh, space there's, mushrooms there's, or something. It's in a different there's context, kind of though, too. Swamp water. The, the thing, yeah. the thing I think about it. He, he has to be that, that leader, or not the leader, but like the mentor, right? He teacher, has to yeah. coach him through as opposed to like just doing stuff for himself. Mm -hmm. Which I really like the way he did that. Yeah. That's what my favorite part about Yoda was. He was probably one of my favorite characters when I first saw him pop up after, like, you know, Han probably. Uh, but one thing I have to say, though, which is more Han related, is I, I love that scene where him and where he's about to get frozen and Princess Leia's like, I love you. And he's like, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh. I, I have that, I have the was a carbonite or whatever. Yeah. I have like that that printout as my business card holder just because it's so nice. awesome. I love that. Like when I saw that, when I like, I think that changed me as a person when I was younger. Because I'm like, I want to be Han Solo like that. I want to like <laughs> just be that arrogant. I want to one day say that to some woman because because it's just a legendary. And then you get like, slapped like a great. scruffy looking nerf herder. Exactly, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> You live and you learn. See, I know I know Empire is a lot of people's favorite Star That's Wars because it like appeals is, to a it, broader audience. It has the whole mushy thing. In mine, mine is definitely Return of the Jedi. That's my favorite, just because I think yeah. that was the first one I re like. I can like picture myself watching. Mm -hmm. But I like that there's so many like there's a lot of holes here and there that you know kind of get overlooked because yeah. the movie as a whole is just so good. Oh yeah, I agree with that. Like the like the weird uh, like the weird force uh, cavern thing where you kind of see Luke fighting Vader, yeah. who ends up being himself. Mm -hmm. Like that entire scene just makes no sense unless you're on shrooms, and it's still. But that's great. my. F that's actually I my know. like my biggest memory of that movie. That and everyone's always confused by that. It makes always, complete like, sense as a to kid, me. I always thought it's like, oh, he's fighting himself. He was having a delusion. That's all I got out of it. That's why he didn't need his lightsaber because he wasn't actually fighting anything for real. That's fair. Yeah. That's why I. It, was it just to me as a kid, like it is. It's even now, it just seemed kind of weird. As a kid, I was first frightened by um, Darth <laughs> Vader. There, I'm gonna be honest. I think I feel like now that I'm saying that, I think I might have seen that movie before I saw the first one potentially, or just that part stuck out more to me because he was a lot more menacing. He definitely is more. He's way one. more threatening in in Empire than he is in A New Hope. He has more yeah. of a presence. I also like when he catches the force lightning. <laughs> or not the force lightning, the bolt, the blaster shot. <laughs> when, um, in Cloud City. He, okay, um, yeah. When, yeah. They, when they enter and they shoot at him and he catches it, I was like. See, I'm so the only reason I remember. Because my mouth is all open for that for you. The, the only so. reason I remember that is because of the Family Guy spoof of it. Where then he goes, Wonder Woman! Like, that's the only reason I remember It was I only a matter of time that, that we had a Blue thing. Harvest reference. Yeah. Well, I have to that say... Was, was that the Blue the... Harvest? No, that that wasn't the Blue Harvest. That was... Well, um, Blue yes, Harvest was A New I Hope. Know. I was making more of a broad statement towards Family Guy. Oh, man. I thought, he was, I, isn't, I thought the whole trilogy was called... Oh, it was something-something Dark Trilogy. Side. 
Yeah, something something dark side is the something, uh, something the empire. Side. Yep. Something <laughs> something dark side. I have to say that those are probably my like favorite episodes of Family Guy. <laughs> so oh, they're so I, I watch them regularly. They are the ones I've definitely watched the most of Family Guy because I just love their like interpretation slash little like poking fun at it. Well, they, I I think they cut out just enough fat that it it still tells the whole story. Yeah, which is with the best jokes part thrown too. in like they're yeah. so well done. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. And also having Carl as Yoda is amazing because I'm like I'm a real life version of Carl, <laughs> so it's nice to see that I would be Yoda in that situation. Carl. Did you guys want to hear my yes, fun please. trivia fact? Yes, Absolutely. The, uh, Boba Fett's name is never referred to in that movie. No, he's, he's just the there. Scene. He's always referred to as the bounty hunter. His name, yeah. Boba Fett, is never said in it. Speaking of the bounty hunters, uh, that just reminds me of how Raggedy Andy in the Family Guy one was a... <laughs> was a uh, a bounty hunter. It's like, yeah. Raggedy Andy's here? Get the fuck out of my bounty hunter me <laughs> so funny yeah but i thought that was a pretty fun fact that most people yeah. didn't really learn his name until until uh, uh, his toys came out okay yeah yeah because his name as was on is the, the case with a lot of oh. the characters yeah actually i was discovering that when i was reading through a lot of the facts i was like oh, they only met yeah right? there's only a handful like that are actually that are mentioned named. they yeah. say the name of things exactly. yeah. yeah yeah they were given names later or off when he was making the toys later but yeah they're like oh shit this guy needs a name uh yeah general something <laughs> dude with beard dude with beard Excellent pilot. <laughs> well, yeah. returning to the podcast yes. at hand uh return Ooh. of the jedi that was a weak one but I, that's i mean yes. it's okay come Anyways. on man I would say this is probably one of my favorite of the originals too. Like you, Andrew. Like I really like, like it. Th- that this one. for me, Return of the Jedi is like one A, and then Empire is one B. Mm-hmm. Like they're they're right there, hand in hand. But Jedi, we does are get all that, going that to have extra very different bit. lists. Or at least I'm going to oh, have definitely. a very different list based on that. <laughs> okay, let, let let's take a little sidestep from from this before we jump into Return of the Jedi. What's your order? What's my order Craig? in terms of preference? Um, yes. Okay, so my list hinges on whether or not Rogue One is considered to be part of this list or whether it's ancillary. I, I had so it, it as is part, part of, of the list. Shit. Yes. Okay, that makes my decision a little bit more hard. Please don't judge the middle of my list. Just say it's uh, just say it's. Well, no, because I want to. I would. <laughs> okay, I would we'll, we'll come. No, we no, can no, come no, back no, to no, this it's, if it's, it's that, not hard. that hard. Just don't judge the middle of my list. My, my okay. order for okay. preference is. Well, I think we already we already covered the fact that they're all okay. A pluses, so, and then so much like one the of them is like an A minus. Baseball lineup, the middle of the lineup is interchangeable. I was thinking, like picking an all star team. The, I was thinking, like trying to pick an all star team. The like, middle, the middle can be in an any order it wants can to you be. Really go bad. <laughs> hey now, these are okay, all stars. Okay, so my actual list, uh, in order from one through two, I guess we'll call that eight, uh, would be A New Hope. <laughs> from one through a new two. Hope. Uh, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, Force Awakens, Revenge of the... Well, no, I want to put Rogue One in there first, then Revenge of the Sith, then uh, Attack of the Clones, and then The Phantom Menace. Okay. I respect that order. Yeah. And... I mean, there's there, no wrong there's order. A, I mean... There really is. They're, exactly. they're all 1A through 1-8. Yeah, I was going to say, mine's one... Like, all mine are 1A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, G. <laughs> like that you were so, counting there's, along. There's with, really, with that. I don't know if I even got that right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for me, like I don't really know if I could pick even like which one's specifically my favorite. I'd probably say A New Hope just because it was like it ticked yeah. off everything. Because like, it was Star Wars. From that it's one. hard to find. Yeah, it it's hard to find Star things Wars. wrong with it because it's a standalone. Exactly, and it's the most complete story because it was the only one that they weren't planning anything else around it. Like they weren't they weren't universe building at that point. They just built a story. Uh, well, they a built movie. a universe in one t- movie though, and yeah. everyone was so loved that universe so much that it got built off of that. So that's why the first one's, I would say, if I had like since we're making a ranking, it would be tied. It would be the highest. The next, can I can I have like a four way tie for a second? <laughs> can I do yes, that? it's your list, <laughs> okay. man. Cool four way tie between like the next two originals along with. Uh, 
for me it would be Revenge of the Sith and um, oh, Force Awakens and then Phantom Menace and Clone Wars and then Rogue One all tied for third yeah okay <laughs> so it's okay. a kind of fat list that's kind of like a pyramid shape but uh yeah that's because i love star wars and i can't really pick a, a worse one i really like rogue one though but i know a lot of people enjoy that it didn't have like jedi stuff but jedi stuff's my favorite part about star wars so it's not that i like i like that it was a different uh like it was a different um interpretation yeah, yeah exactly that we it, it's not always about the jedis but the ones I watch more are the ones with the Jedi's. <laughs> so that's probably why it's lower on my list for me. Um, but actually, what about you? You never gave us a com- your complete list. Okay, so for mine, my 1A and 1B are Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, like I said. Yeah. Now here's what it changes up a bit for me versus your guys. I've got my 2A is A New Hope, and my 2B okay. is then Rogue One. You put Rogue, oh, nice. Rogue ahead I have Rogue, of the Force just cause... is an interesting choice. See, I, I like uh, like Rogue One there just because you know I felt like it was a really well done movie, and it was. the the way they cap it off is like it it yeah. doesn't really it doesn't I mean it affects the the whole continuity of it entirely without ha- with story without having to step in and be like a full on carryover part. Like yeah. I like that yeah. it is its own thing as well as being part of it. Yeah, now that you say that, like once when I said that the first. Uh, that a new hope's the only like complete story that's not true a rogue one's pretty its own like individual like well it is it is interconnected is... but if you took out like what it's connected to it could still be its own thing. it's a little exactly. harder and i think like, for rogue one to that, stand yeah. on its own than it is for a new hope though well because it, it's got the thing yeah. to attach to because right? because, yeah. because it's in like the entirety of rogue one is leaning on a new hope and the events that happened there yeah. and really an entire an adventure like literally two an, minutes an, an adventure to get plans for a death star isn't isn't enough of a standalone for me it is like i, I get what you guys are saying um but mm-hmm. i don't th- i don't think it quite stands on its own two legs more like one and a half legs it's an amputee it doesn't stand on its own. It's an amputee outside of the Star Wars universe. Yeah, I got that. I know what you mean. In the cinematic, it, it, you could world, not take. You could not have it, made it's Rogue still One Star Wars movie in 1977 and been it's its still thing. called Rogue One's exactly. a Star Wars well, there you story. Go. Okay, that's, like, that's the yes. reason they put a Star Wars story. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that. Like, yeah, it's a there's a reason they had to put that in the titles because, like, yeah, yeah I agree. And like China, they probably wouldn't have known it was a Star Wars movie yeah. if they didn't. If they just called it Rogue One, it would have. They would have just been like, oh, that's known. that's uh, all of you know China's history. <laughs> but uh my next one my number my number three is uh the force awakens i yep. love daisy ridley i love ray she's so Great. adorable Great. uh and then i've got attack of the clones revenge of the sith and then phantom menace yeah sounds about right which i don't know why i didn't mention this before but i feel like because we're we're now talking about return of the jedi i can tie them together and kind of segue in yep. um there's so much hate on Jar Jar Binks. He's yeah, not like so so many people hate Jar Jar, and I think a lot of people like our age we don't hate him. And nope. he, here's my yeah. reason why, and it's it's exactly that. It's the same as Barney's like math behind uh, people who hate Ewoks. How it they were born, how they were born before a yeah. certain point. It's we yeah. were young when we saw Jar Jar, so we saw a goofball, and we're like, ha, awesome. Yeah. He was just a stooge. He was trying yeah. his best. He just he's not he just he's not a big enough person <laughs> yeah. to even so, bother me anyway. Well, well, except that he does have a really big role in you know, yeah. Attack of the Clones and, and Revenge of the Sith. Like he's the one who who comes out and says, "Oh, Misa need uh, we need a new Chancellor." Give power no emergency powers to the emergency. That's what it was, and then Which he turns around and says, "We need to scene. become the Empire." Yeah, there's a deleted scene where Palpatine, after he like makes himself Empire emperor goes to like jar jar and thanks him like sarcastically that's apparently oh i I haven't seen that no it's only on like the blu-ray set i I read damn i got that now i gotta look at look at that shit later if i you'll have to see if that i read that correctly or not on imdb so returning to the jedi again (laughs) let the record show that that was better than your last return of the jedi segue 
and let the record show that it wasn't me who called out the segue this time. And let the record show that it was like the exact same no, segue. No, it was, it was a little bit <laughs> different, but okay. Same concept, it did, same it play on the feel, name. It didn't of the feel movie. quite as to the Jedi. That was <laughs> that's true. I know. It was, I was trying to get us off the track talking about the segue <laughs> and just use the segue for what All we're All right, let's to talk be. about this movie so we can continue to talking so back that to we it. don't sit here for the next three hours. True. Yes. I loved um, it. You yeah. guys loved it? Oh, yes. Okay, I moving on. I want to ask you guys one thing and then give you my Can't, one Okay, I'm going to let you okay. ask your thing, and if it's not what I want to talk about, then it's going to be what I talk about after that. So ask your Fair thing. Fair enough. So... Yeah. So, did you guys like the edit? That's what I wanted to talk about. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no. 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 You don't like First of all, hating no. Christensen. No. Uh. Oh. Second because, of all, but, you liked it. But he well, looks in the original. When I first watched the original, I did not know who he was supposed to be. I was like, I get it, but he didn't look like. I guess that makes sense. As a kid you watching it, you're Vader's confused. Yeah. Person, like, who's that supposed to be? Like, you have to assume and it's Darth Vader. But you don't really know that because you never saw his face. So, like, when they changed it to Anakin, I'm like, oh, I can connect but with this that's, better. It that's why they should have for, left it alone because Alec Luke, Guinness looks but, nothing like Ewan McGregor. And yet they didn't change that. Did they? Did I miss that? Yeah, that's the yeah, that's see? Awesome. So uh, I, th- I think I, th- I see where I, Scott's yeah, coming from. Like, he was a also, kid, right, I can the first time that, he watched yeah. it. But so. at the same time, I I think that they, they should have, they well, I prefer it left alone. I don't want to tell everybody else yeah. how it should be done, but I prefer it left alone yeah. because he's Darth Vader at that point is much older, so he is aged. And if Alec Guinness can look different from Ewan McGregor, then we don't need Hayden Christensen. See, the argument yeah. for him being younger was that was that, be- like, yes, he went I back to his the last time he was like the chosen one or the four like the and that almost sign. makes yeah. it better. Go, goes back to being a, a Jedi as yeah. opposed to the that's Sith. Like, that's that that's almost like makes it, it acceptable. It, that was the good part of him was like when you because you never see him as like because except for that like, one he really up, he's only ever Darth <laughs> Vader. Except for that yeah. one really quick like, scene where they're showing his mask he's being an egghead, put on, yeah, which I love. Exactly, which wasn't even the same guy who they had in that Force Ghost scene. So it's like they had so many, they had four or five different people play Darth Vader at different. They should have just got James Earl Jones to do it. Just James Earl Jones should have been in the be suit. Like, okay, been fantastic. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. I like the fam, the one Family Guy cutaway where nowhere near thinner at that point. No, he's he's always been a big dude. Like, so I was gonna say, so like, you guys wanted Darth Vader to have a little. It just would have been funny. (laughs) No, just just when just when he was outside of the robot suit. That's all. Okay. I'm not. I'm not actually saying seriously. Yes, James Earl Jones should have played Darth Vader. (laughs) It just it would be funny if James Earl Jones played Darth Vader. I'm just messing with you. Uh, yes, but like I know what you mean, Craig. Like I, I, like when they changed it, I was a little like thrown well, off. Because by first. you can uh, also the the only reason I like it is because but, of that connection. Like, but you, you get can who make the point too that than, because he like when he throws the emperor into the yeah, then I know then he, throws he becomes the emperor, back, to back to good, which makes him a good. No, I'm that, yeah. smarter than that, Scott. <laughs> I'm smarter than that. that. <laughs> Yes, but then you could also argue that he was never actually the chosen one, and it was that Luke having to be good and convincing and, his father, well, is which is the, the one who's the chosen. Which one. is the so theory that makes sense because for hours and hours and hours, but we only have so limited. And that's time what on I like podcast. about st- people. And that's what I like about Star Wars so much is that you could talk about this ad nauseum and still not have it resolved. Yes. And with yeah. that, we that's go the into the most recent. Star Wars, Star Wars. Film. Well, oh, trivia question. actually, trivia. I had a little thing I wanted Damn to throw Andrew. in, too. Andrew, the trivia. I have uh, one trivia oh, Okay, seconds. cool. Uh, my thing was, uh, I remember reading another thing. Actually, it might have been our dear friend Brock Bowman who threw me onto this one. Um, potentially. I think it was him, potentially, possibly. And it was uh, a little information that, um, you know, when, when Yoda says, you know, Luke, if you leave now, you're going to you know go to the dark side. And yes. at the beginning of uh, of Return of the Jedi, you know, he's willing to kill. He's willing to control people. He's wearing the all dark. Yeah. And it, it it does really show throughout the movie that he is really more dark side than than Jedi. Like he's willing to do what is necessary, as yeah. opposed to what the right thing may be. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah. So I I just kind of like that that point that another thing that once you f- read that afterwards you can put two and two together that way. Yeah, you think about a little... You see yeah. certain scenes, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's a different way to think. Especially, like, why did he have to go all black? 
Uh, but I'm pretty sure that was just a, a merchandising choice again, to be honest. <laughs> Probably. Well, uh, well, I remember reading like reading something like separately really was that Luke was actually supposed to be, you know, a bad guy in it at that point and was supposed there's, to... Yeah, there's so many... Different but then they weren't, they weren't going to be able to sell merch when the good guy yeah. goes bad, so they're like, uh, exactly. okay. So yeah. they, they kind of changed it a little bit, I imagine, so that, you know, he was Sith, but trying to act as a Jedi, so maybe then he is he's the balanced of the Force, right? Or the Force, yeah. right? Where he's a little bit of this, a little bit of that? Yeah, exactly. There's, what there's is your trivia like, point, it's, Scott? It's all semantics. But my trivia point is, it's similar to the Boba Fett one, and that's the Ewoks are never referred to as Ewoks in the movie. That's true. No? no. They're just that's, the little yeah, furry things that live on Endor. The moon of Endor. Yep. Who who understand the finer points of cosmetology and know how to and know how to sew. And how to cook a person. Yeah. <laughs> we always, we always miss that. They were gonna and yet they and yet they still worship machines yep. as gods. Yeah. They don't know what machines are, but they're gods. And they made the first set of um Star Wars spin off movies that people always forget about. Some of they some of us try to forget. Like the about animated, them. the animated no, stuff. They, they had the live action. Yeah. Did they? Some saw? of us. You never. No. Some of us. I've seen the animated. The animated one. I have it. You guys are missing out so much. You have to go look up the Ewok adventure, or I, what was it? it? Might be Caravan of Caravan of Courage. The Ewok. Well, that to look into terrible. it. Yeah. Two two kids crash on Endor and the, the Ewoks have to like help them get rescued but one, their parents are kidnapped so it sounds like a Sesame Street special weird. it was such a kids <laughs> yeah. movie but it like made my childhood a little bit better I think that's why I'm an extra big fan of Star Wars on a, Wars, on a scale that, of that to the, the Star Wars on a scale of yeah I was gonna say on a scale of that to the Star Wars Christmas special like I would say how, it's better because it's okay. not as crazy because it's an actual movie right? okay like, so it's, there's a plot it is a little bit. Like well, the Christmas crazy. special has has a plot. I've never seen it. it makes it's oh really oh god it's so yeah, I've actually never seen bad. Eighty percent <laughs> of that movie yeah. is Ewok or not Ewok is Wookie like yeah, Wookie's talking. That. Yeah. And yeah. they 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 don't even really give it subtitles. You're supposed to figure it out on your own. <laughs> That's crazy. That sounds like how no, I would so write this a one's movie. Definitely better. So. This one's definitely better. The Ewok Adventure one was like these, like I said, this was family crashes on the planet, and then they get separated from their parents, and the two kids have to go rescue their parents with the help of a group of Ewoks. Okay. And so you get a, you get this ragtag bunch of Ewoks, and they go through these adventures. There's like a giant spider they fight at one point. There's some crazy crap. I have to rewatch this now, because I'm not remembering all of it. But you both like truly need to see it just because he like it is a little bit garbage but it's like good garbage does that make sense <laughs> like like it's a good like it's something you'll watch just like oh this is dumb but i'm happy i watched this once <laughs> like does that make sense yes <laughs> fair enough yeah yeah so that's yeah you guys you guys are missing out you need to go get to that um but let's talk about how the newest addition to the star wars Thing, or not the newest, well, I guess. It's the newest to this. It's the Force newest to the, to the line. Yes. Force Awakens. <laughs> so, um, this is not the first one that I saw in theaters because I did see, uh, I saw Revenge of the Sith before it, but I do very distinctly remember sitting in the movie theater the first time I saw this and getting chills and slightly tearing up. Honesty yeah, on the, the Forgot to Grow Up podcast. Feeling. Like when I first when I first saw the fir- like the trailer oh, for, for sure. this one, I got goosebumps through my whole body, and I was and then it like was the same joy. It was even worse yet. sitting in the movie theater, and then the blue text comes on the screen, and then the mu- and then the music starts, yeah. and it's just like, it's oh, like I don't oh. know if I'm gonna make it through this without crying tears of joy. I know, yeah. I, oh, pff. when when Han comes, when Han and Chewie walk on the Millennium Falcon and say they're home, my heart like. My heart stopped and I just cried a little bit. Well, the first the first time of the many times I saw that movie in theaters, yeah. I actually physically did cry. Yeah, no, I think it I wasn't know. from the movie. It was because of that bullshit Cineplex Snowman video <laughs> they played beforehand. But it did get me super emotional. That oh my gosh, emotional. that video! I'm fucking that ripping off Genesis like, to make me cry? Are you worst. kidding? Like it's it's so worst. good, but it's that? so <laughs> just it's not cool. Dark. Thank you. It's a little dark. <laughs> it is. It is right? quite it's dark. dark. <laughs> yeah, so super just, dark. Just, just yeah, before we continue. So. The only good thing about it is Genesis. Uh, Genesis. Before song, we continue with our podcast, 
let me just have a shout out here to Cineplex for not destroying the holiday season this year and not doing a short that made us all cry. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. They they may start it with this Star oh, Wars God. movie too. I'm pretty sure they did it last year. I thought they had more time. I thought time. they'd done it beforehand. I think so. I did don't they? remember. Let's hope they didn't. They don't Just ruin Christmas don't, this like, year. Don't don't make grown men cry. It's not cool. We forgot to grow up, so we are Star a little Wars more emotional than enough. other people. We, well, yeah. okay. So now let me bring it back to um, to the Force Awakens. I think the reason why I was way, yes. well, besides being older, the reason why I was a little bit more involved in the Force Awakens than I was in any of the prequels is that um, I got the I got the sense of it being similar to how it was back in back when the original trilogy came out because it feels like you're part of something that's yeah. gigantic. And it doesn't have, it didn't yeah, have the same, I agree. like, I didn't have chills or any sort of emotion when I saw Revenge of the Sith in the movie theater, because it was just another Star Wars movie in a line of movies mm. that had come out, but this one was different. Yeah. Because we were act we, well, because yeah, we, this, this was like a, this was, was almost like a sure reboot type thing, make right? anymore. Mm. No, we were, yeah. I was pretty, like, set for the Never See One again, like, to, like, kind of yeah. live with, like, them making more, like, Clone War type animated things, and that's what I was going to have to live with. Uh, and then I, I heard rumors about Disney maybe looking at buying, and I was like, oh, please. I was one please. of those people who was like, yes, do it, do it. Like, I knew I knew what they would do with it, and they did exactly what I wanted, which was give me a new trilogy and a new movie every year and a new TV show and, and, and more stuff. And yep. I'm just, I just love Star Wars, and I just want yep. it all the And time. they're doing it at the perfect pace, too. Mm Yes, movie like and then side movie and then movie and then side it's just it's just enough star wars Except to keep you there and it's just not enough star wars to keep you there exactly except this year like is the closest they're th releasing two together out at like around the same time because han solo is still scheduled to be Ooh. out in may that seems really year. fast considering i Which haven't seen anything from it i don't think they've even i don't even think they're really like doing any filming yet I'm pretty sure they're gonna push it that to next the December. That would make most sense. Because, like, and because uh, Infinity War is supposed to come out in May, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. And I'm like, yeah. why would Disney Put would never two of their movies? To, like, I mean, I would see both of them like that. twice. Yeah. So, at minimum, I, I'd see one back to back and then switch the order exactly. the next day. They're gonna get their money from us. Too. It's everybody else. It's it's the people who yeah, are like, just, yeah, well, okay, we're gonna go see like, a movie this month. Do we go see the middle or people? Do we go see yeah. Infinity Wars or do it's we go brothers. see my, Star Wars? Like my brother yeah. doesn't go very often, so it's like he would only. The go to thing, one yeah, well, that's exactly it. Is the thing that would happen is that Infinity Wars would get uh, would take a huge hit. I would think, yeah, I would, I would, get, I would probably agree with that. Too, so they would look, it would look pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I have Force Awakens for this. Yes. <laughs> that's not that's surprising <laughs> i know and it's also the one that i watched uh, like i i figured i could wing the other ones because i've seen them like 12 times but this one i'd only seen three or four see i was the opposite way because i was like this is the one i've watched the most recently so i'm like i'll have to rewatch i was other i was missing parts <laughs> um so the first thing i want to comment on with the force awakens is that i think that the the way they did the ca the cgi was really good uh, yeah, exactly. So I I wasn't a hundred percent sure whether they'd actually done much practical, but it reminded me so much of the original trilogy that I was like, this is this is wonderful. This is all I really needed. I read today, I read today that they bought every air gun in London to give all the um, stormtroopers guns like a kickback when they shoot it. So all those rifles are like plastic, okay. like all the like. They have like little. They're like airsoft like air, guns or something. Yeah, and they just, just to give that little like extra realistic pop when they pop. shoot it. Okay. Yeah, the, just to give that. Movement. That makes me and appreciate like, it so much more. Yeah. See, all I was thinking of was yeah. the. Because then they just edited the lasers at the end of it. I'm like, yeah, perfect. I don't care that I didn't see a bullet come out of it. Put a laser at the see, end of that. See, because the the, yeah. the thing that made me really realize is it is the uh, is the scene where they're on where they're on Star Killer Base headed into the oscillator, and there's the space battle yeah, happening yeah. kind of behind it. And I thought that was like that. That was the part where I, I realized, holy crap, this is really good. Um, yeah, they did a really good job of the the combination of the two and when to use exactly. One over and the other. I mean, you can tell it's a green screen, but that's probably just because I've seen too many movies. 
Well, we've we've grown up in the era of yeah green CGI, screen technology. Like every yeah. movie we've ever seen, like uh, Toy Story was the first like CGI, fully CGI like animated film, and that came out what, like, exactly right after we were born. But the part that <laughs> yeah. I actually wanted to talk about yeah. when it comes to the Force Awakens was is kind yeah. of is a storytelling point, and I sent this text to Andrew so that I would remember it. Um, but I think the I think that the strongest part of the first half of the Force Awakens, if you throw out all of the all of the Ray and the Finn backstory and the the whole resistance and everything else, is the fact that they keep Adam Driver's yeah. face covered the entire time. He does oh, yes, the villain, yeah. so um, Kylo Ren, but. That's it's just, because it's because it's yeah no yeah, yeah. yeah I know who you're talking okay. sorry I said that yeah. just as so like a they like keep a, so they keep the villain of the story the, just they keep my own Adam Driver's face no covered <laughs> until he meets Han Solo yeah. on the bridge that's very and, true I and I was paying attention to it because it. it's really it's really obvious when you're when you're watching the movie for the purpose of watching like watching for points that you can talk about yeah and the entire time it's his voice mm -hmm. and there and there's a couple references to why do you still have the mask on why are you talking like that what's with your voice and then he takes the mask off yeah. only when he's talking to han and then he ha it's on and off and you can tell that that like that's base basically that point is when is when kylo ren loses a handle on the situation as soon as he takes his mask off is you yeah. almost well, see him crack a little bit, right? Like he's he's the confident. Fact that he, he knows took his who he mask is. Off is kind and of a visual representation of the fact that he is he's broken. Yeah. To me, to and, me, like after you sent me that text, I got thinking, and I kind of saw it as like a, a slight sign of respect. Like you know, this is my dad. Like almost like you know, you can wear your your yeah. hat at the at the dinner table at your house, but you go home and you take it off for dinner type thing. Yeah. Like he, it is kind of a nod, like you know, this is my dad. I, I, I hate him, but I still kind of respect him. Mm -hmm. And then once he takes it off, he's like, you know, who, the, who the hell am I? You know, yeah, I'm one guy just, with these guys, but then he's he kind of just, behind the mask yeah, before, yeah. Again, you know, behind oh, all his like insecurities behind that almost like a Bruce before. Bruce Wayne thing, you know. Yeah. When when he's exactly. got the mask on, he's Batman, and that's who he is. But he takes mm -hmm. the mask off, and that's who that's who the actual mask is, and it's it's Kylo yeah, Ren I, minus the mask. Yeah, if I'd that makes any that. sense. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. He wants to because he's he's trying to like emulate uh, Darth Vader. That's why he. I think that's yeah what's supposed to be implied by his mask, him wearing a mask yeah. at all, is that he's trying to be like Darth Vader. Even though the reason Darth Vader had it was because it was a breathing apparatus. Anyways, um, but he wanted to like emulate him in that, and I agree that like him taking it off was like him like he kind of lost that like identity because like, he was. He's so way less threatening once yeah. he takes the mask off, and he loses he, he loses oh, the yeah, handle on the situation. Uh, that's that's when well, he then, gets well. That's when he starts throwing like temper tantrums, shot, right? And that's when he gets hit with the lightsaber, and and, and all of yeah. that happens when he doesn't have the mask on. And then and then he, the first time he goes in to talk to uh, to Snoke, he he has the mask on, but after he runs into Han Solo, when things are starting yeah. to fall apart, he has the mask off. Yeah. Well, one thing I read, actually I heard in a video, was that in the um, the novelization for the book, it says that after he killed Han, that he thought he'd feel stronger, but he actually felt weaker. Like, so he thought he was supposed to, like, he'd feel all this power after. Like, he thought he was going to get this, like, rush of, like, dark side power. And then actually he actually just felt like shit because he killed his dad. Yeah. <laughs> and then he got shot. So it was like... like well, I, I, just, I think like, that's yeah. going to be the story arc we see. Like, maybe not in this one, you know, because they kind of foreshadow, the you one, know, yeah. killing other family members. <clears throat> Potentially. I think that was clever editing more than anything but uh i think that i, I, th I think like... you're gonna see by the third one that like he you know he is he's still so conflicted doesn't know what's going on mm -hmm. i feel like he he's gonna be kind of eaten away at the betrayal he's thrown at you know his family i agree and i think that's why this new trilogy or the the, the new trilogy has become so popular too is because more people can relate with these two new characters of ray and um ben solo yeah i'm calling him ben because i hate saying kello <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If, I never know if I'm Ren, saying man. it right. I'm saying, is it Kylo? Kylo? Yeah, see, Kylo? Ky I never know if I'm saying it right. Anyways, Ben. His name's Ben. He's a solo. Yeah. He killed his father like a dick. I forget what like a point dick. Was. He was a dick. Like, when he did that, all, like, I lost like, all and hope for him. I was like, the oh, other oh, maybe he could get redeemed. Oh, the other him. thing no, I noticed, nope. too, is Fuck that you. I hope even when you know you it's half. coming, it still freaking sneaks up on you. Oh, 
it my, it my almost feels to me like when you look on Kylo Ren's face, like it almost shocks him that he did it. Yeah, he's he's yeah, exactly. I agree. Like he like he's like he can't uh, he I don't know what to. Him. Oh yeah. shit, it happened. Yeah, and like immediately. See, I, I, like, I always oh, saw fuck. that as as conviction. Yeah. Like he's convinced that he's done the right thing yeah. at the right at that point. That's uh, oh, okay. and then and then eventually it becomes regret. But it the look and the see, look seems like conviction to me. Maybe I need to watch it again. Yeah. No, we, of course we do. We have it. to. Obviously, I'm going to watch I'll it again. It again before, well, all of them again before it. Yeah, of course. My my two cents to add before Scott tosses out his uh, little tidbit of information. Uh, I like that you don't forget this. Topic. I won't forget either. <laughs> uh, my two cents. One, I love that in the Star Wars movies, there isn't really one definitive, like all of them, there isn't one definitive main character. Like arguments could be main that you know, each each main character, so to speak, is yeah. the main character. And the lack of yeah, a no, token romance. That. But, now that I'm thinking about it, because even yeah. even even yes, on Leia mention or it. Luke and Leia, depending on how far back in that goes, the only they, they, thing that's you know, close enough to yeah. a token romance, and even then, it's supposed to advance the story, is Anakin and Padme, and that's just because they bother me. But that's just me. But it's yeah. not really a token. But at the same time that they are, they they were yes, the most exactly. forced one too at the same time because they had to get together because yeah it that's had why to story it, plot so I could see now that you're saying that I'm like maybe that's why people like the like really like like really were opposed to well because it it, like, it feels like it feels like you have well that's there was a love story involved <laughs> yeah it's fair my other thing is I like that in the new ones where you, you see it in the, the new trailer for uh, The Last Jedi where they've, they've got the, the Imperial Walkers. Yeah. They've got them. They've just got them beefed up. Yeah. And then you see the X-Wing fighters still, and then, you know, the Star Killer base is just a really big Death Star. I kind of like the homages, but I also yeah. like that they said, you know, it's not broken, let's not Star Killer it. base is my favorite yeah. name Type of thing. anything ever. Yes. It, yes. it it does exactly what it says it does. It kills the damn star. <laughs> yeah. It's and a, it's a base. And it's a base. <laughs> yeah. Well, Star Killer was actually supposed to be uh, Luke's last name originally. Yeah. Before uh, Skywalker. S- Skywalker is way better star than Killer. Star Killer. Just I- I- if, if for better. no other reason yeah. than, than they could use Star Killer base. Exactly. Yeah. For Star Killer base, yeah. Yes. As opposed yeah. to Skywalker or base, Death that's Star weak. Star Mark yeah. Star Killer base. Yes. Yeah. Oh, death. <laughs> okay. Death what Giant is Death Star? <laughs> what is your trivia information, Scott? So my trivia that I wrote down, you probably guys probably do know this. Uh, it's pretty common, but it, this was the third movie in history to break two billion dollars. The only, like, to break three billion. Yep. The only two before it were yeah. like Titanic and Avatar. One of those I've movies wasn't even deserving. I've never seen I, I either of I those either movies, movies all the way theater. through. <laughs> don't don't I, waste your time. I don't intend to. Yeah. I've never watched. Yeah, I, I've never watched which is, all of which Titanic, is, but I definitely have. Victor all Garber all episodes, so. and Victor Garber and uh, Billy Zane are the and only the two good you're things of Titanic. Out Billy Zane from Titanic. I said it. in another podcast, and neither one of us would think yep. that he's in it. <laughs> Callbacks. All the podcasts exactly. are connected by callbacks. They're all, they all happen in the same extended universe. Yeah. Now, let's... Before we dive into Rogue One, I'm going to say I think this week let's go a little rogue and let's not do the what we watched this week because clearly all we really Star Wars Star and Wars. stuff that I yeah, watched, both, stuff that I mentioned watched, the week before. Watched Star Wars. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so... That is us yes, going rogue this week. You don't have to worry about www.tw this week, guys. Thank you for throwing in the acronym because I really wanted to make sure that www.tw, also known as what we watched this week, made it in. Consistency. Made it happen. All right. So for Rogue One, I just wanted to know, what did you guys I think of this loved new it. edition? Well, I, I already said I loved it. It's, it's my... It's my my 2B movie. Yeah, you already said it was up there on your list. Yeah, I really liked it too. I really love the fresh take um, and the, like, the change of pace. You know, I did say, like I said before, I do, I did miss a little bit of the Jedi stuff, but I really like like what they did with um, Danny Yen. Yes, yes. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, um, yeah. I that, yeah, that's, um, oh, fuck, what's his name? 
Oh, I'm never gonna actual name. Oh his, man, his character name I'll never remember. No, I was thinking of the the karate movies in Ping. Oh, or IP. Hit, IP. That's what it is. Yeah, he's IP man. man. It man. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. Either. Love those YouTube. movies. Uh, but yeah, like I really enjoyed Rogue One as well because, and I like that they like they took like a little tin bit from the tin bit again. Love minute. it. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm craving donuts. <laughs> mm, <sour laughs> Sponsorships. <laughs> yeah. Please, well, like I'll take like any donut company. Contact us. I I oh, vote for Beachwood out of St. Catharines just because those donuts are fantastic. I vote for Doers okay. in Campbellford because it's we'll get, seven we'll, minutes away. We'll get local sponsorships. So yeah, we'll just get local <laughs> sponsorships. Whatever. Works for me. Exactly. Each of us individually. <laughs> we read three ads at the beginning of our podcast. And they're all for different donut shops. <laughs> and they're all donuts. <laughs> I, I'm fine with selling out for donuts. I'm t- listeners, you have to know now. If you don't want me to sell it for donuts, you probably should leave. One day I'm going to sell out for donuts. <laughs> Cause it's, it's just bound to happen. I love donuts. Like, I love donuts. He loves donuts. So we what, love. I, what I loved as much as donuts in Rogue One was... Well, no, it it specifically One. in Rogue yeah. One. Nice. Was, uh, and, and it... I mean, I'm a little, bit, a little bit disappointed in myself that it took so long for me to remember that Peter Cushing was dead. But the fact that they used him for, uh, for Grand Moff Tarkin... And the CGI was almost flawless, yeah, yeah. which then leads to the thing. So yeah. you were one well, of the people I knew, who didn't know I, okay. about that. So when you sit there, when you sit there and you think about it, I, I realized in the movie because at yeah. first I was like, "Oh yeah," and I was like, "Wait a second, he was ancient in 1977, yeah. so this is really good CGI." Yeah. Or they cut yeah. a bunch of <laughs> they cut a bunch of stuff and put it in, and yeah. that leads to the thing I. Did the, about the only thing I didn't like about Rogue One, which is the gratuitous use of Princess Leia at the end, because it's just so damn obvious. I would have been happy if they'd left her turned yeah. around. Imply it. I didn't need a CGI version yeah, of her I, face. I would agree with That's that. All. Yeah, I'll agree with that one point too. My favorite thing in this whole thing was the five, like the thirteen. 14 seconds of Darth Vader just chopping down some rebels. Just boom, boom, boom. Just, that scene's just really, 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 just, just really being good. the monster, the monster that he is, and just tearing through. Because you never really get to see Darth Vader ever really just, just go ape that, shit. Yeah, that scene. Now, now, that, just, now that you're reminding me of it, that is so good. It's too bad that it ends at the Princess Leia. Bit. I know. Like, yeah, <laughs> kind of, but. I that scene I just like honestly I'd probably say that's one of my favorite moments it is in all the Star Wars movies. So good. Just cuz that's all I ever wanted in like the original tr- like that's like if I could add one thing to the original trilogies would be like a little bit more Darth Vader killing people. Uh, as bad as that yeah. sounds, I want to see Darth Vader being the badass he was. But I guess like it works in the original trilogy that he is more of this like kind of He's a figure, right? That's all yeah, he was. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And but I also like that he's actually like because after the pre because I grew up more with the prequels right so it's like I saw him kick a lot of butt in the prequels so I'm cutting drones all the time I want to see him mess some people up and then he did and like when I first saw that in theaters I like the only thing I could equate it to like how happy I was was like just the when the first prequel came out in theaters and then when Force Awakens came out, like, I was equally as happy with Darth Vader chopping those guys down as I was when those mom- like those first moments, because it was just ugh, it's all I ever waited for in my childhood. <laughs> I'm going to have to rewatch that before I go to bed, to be honest, just that five minute scene of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, YouTube, just, here we come. Just, yeah, exactly, I know exactly, I have it saved, it's saved to my channel, like, because it's such a great, just <laughs> picks somebody up, smashes them into a wall, it's, uh so good it's just so good and then like when you go and watch um a new hope though and then like at the beginning you see him walking in and he doesn't even do anything i'm like oh i wish like you see a bunch of stormtroopers like piling at first and i'm like uh, i wish that was darth vader just coming in and chopping all those guys down some yeah more. <laughs> but if only if only you know i can't, I can't that might be like, the acceptable director's cut or the, like, the remaster yeah. that i would accept yeah yeah, Darth Vader just coming in and chopping more down. I'd be okay with like it, removing every stormtrooper and replacing them with Darth Vader chopping down those people, whoever they were shooting. 
Hoth, no clue. No. Just Darth Stormtroopers. Vader. Just Darth Vader chopping everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no walkers, just. <laughs> boo, 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 Him just <laughs> running around, cutting down, <laughs> flying things. <laughs> Mowing down bitches. I love it. <laughs> yeah. But what was your guys' favorite thing from Rogue One? Because I talked about that for like five minutes. Ago. Mine was definitely still Peter Cushing. <laughs> Just it's because yeah. like it's it's I mean I liked the I liked the movie in general so what stuck out the most to me was the yeah. fact oh, yeah. that they movie. that they managed to it do was that a good heist movie just in general yeah like, I would say like we were actually talking about that we were saying that before like I could see it like you could probably maybe even play this as like a sci-fi yeah heist but kind of then movie. there's the whole like, dependence you know I mean? on the universe it it wouldn't do it as well it'd be a direct yes. to DVD if it was if there was no Star Wars attached to it but, yeah. yeah. Like, one of those direct dvd that, like, Netflix might buy and make a Netflix original, like, after the fact. Does that make sense? <laughs> kind of like Arrested so, yeah. Development. <laughs> Man, we don't have time to talk about the fourth season of Arrested Development right now. No, we don't. We don't no, no. We, we, still got, <laughs> we still got to talk about the upcoming Star Wars movies that are coming out and stuff we, we're looking All forward right, to in Star Wars. We didn't even talk about the show. I don't, yeah. Nope. Uh, my my favorite thing before we move yeah. on and I get left in the dust. Uh, my bad. I liked uh, how they used uh, K2SO. First of all, I love the guy who voices it. Uh, uh, Alan, Alan Tudyk. Tudyk. Love Great. him. Uh, he it's always so just kind of pops up in things I found. Like when he was in Trans- Transformers. Uh, was it Transformers and He's in 3? 42 because we mentioned that Where's last there? Week? Yes, he is. Like yes. Baseball. Like I... Yep. Yeah. Like uh, I I love him, and I like that they kind of kept with the the sarcastic robot. Yeah, like, I really like that part. Like too. it seems like every main robot in Star Wars has attitude. Just a little bit, and I'm, I'm like, okay with that. Like R two was nothing but attitude. C three PO was a sarcastic little bitch. Yeah, he was sass. Like even even R four, you know, Obi Wan's uh, personal personal R U. He was a more refined. He was a kind of a sass. sassy guy. He was like yes, yes, He was a little yes, bit boss. of a dick too. Yeah. <laughs> R four was a little bit of a dick. Got him, almost got him killed. Like, I, like he's like, you know what? I'll do what you tell me to do. But yeah. fuck you guys. Like that's fuck that's you. the entire vibe that K two gave I'm me. I'm going to dinner without you. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was my favorite favorite little nice. additive. And the trivia I had for Rogue One before we move on, it was that this was the first Star Wars movie that didn't have the name Skywalker. That makes sense. I really like name Makes mention sense. thing facts, apparently. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> well, because they're supposed to, at that point, they're supposed to be invisible, basically, right? Because it happens before yeah, a new so Hope. Yeah, so they haven't been discovered they're, yet. And... They're a legend from the past, and they haven't been yeah, brought no, up it's again. Yeah, no, there's no real connection to the Skywalkers at all, because it wasn't a Skywalker story. Uh, but I just thought it was a fun exactly. fact that that was the first one that the word Skywalker wasn't said. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we've got a couple more weeks till The Last Jedi comes out. What are you guys most excited to see in the next movie? Ray. Mark Hamill. Oh, I like the different answers. Well, I, I'm not entirely emotionally attached I am. to Ray. For sure. Um, I, I, I want to see I 19 more same... movies of just Ray. Oh. I don't, have this, I don't have the same, uh, <laughs> I don't have the same excitement for for ray as as a lot of other ray people. is my modern day 2017 young sandra bullock i am i'm far more that. excited <laughs> yep especially after having watched the force awakens again i was just like i, I mean yeah okay it, it didn't, it, it well having really, having seen really daisy ridley in um, murder on the orient express as well like it just yeah. cemented like i love her she's just cemented adorable for you yeah she's just so cute yeah, I would say I'm just excited for just it. The, like it in general, yes, but yeah, like the for entirety, me, like, the the plot point, like the the plot points that are open from the first one. So like, do we find out if like where what Luke's been doing all that time, and like a little bit more about the the uh, his Jedi Academy that went to shit, and like all those like I want the little facts is what I'm most excited for, like the little like answer some of my questions slash make give us some more questions like is snoke actually Plagueis? like i want to know that like i'm hoping he is but i know he's probably not so it's like that's what i'm excited for some answers some star wars answers <laughs> well i'm pretty sure luke's just been standing on a rock in the atlantic ocean <laughs> for the entire time <laughs> right off the coast of ireland yeah exactly I don't know if he was like cooking porgs to eat um or yeah how he got that sweet ass poncho um 
He, he made, made it he made it out of pork fur, dude. I'm cool with that. Can I can I order one? <laughs> um, did you use the lightsaber? There's all these questions I have. <laughs> you didn't have the lightsaber. Has he killed another womp? What was it? A womp? Wampa? Wombat or Wampa? What's yeah. the thing he had to, that Han rat. cut open that he slept in? It's a Wampa. Oh, rat. the uh, the the Tauntaun. Oh right, you're right. Yeah, you guys are thinking different things. I, I was thinking he, he used to shoot uh shoot the monk. Yeah, he was shooting Wampa yeah. at home. But it was the taunt. It was the Tauntaun. Tauntaun. Thank you. Tauntaun. As opposed to the Don Don, which is Don Knox. Yeah, that's a Family Guy reference. <laughs> I want to know what all our listeners think is going to, the big twist is going to be. I want you, I want you guys to comment in the comment well, section below. And let us know below. if you have any uh, Snoke theories or any Star Wars theories in general. Um, and let us know how excited you guys are about the upcoming Star Wars and how much you guys love Star Wars. Let us know this, yeah. this was our very special uh, episode 9 Star Wars edition of the Forgot to Grow Up podcast. I would like- I would like to, on one hand, apologize for the length, and at the same time say, you guys asked for it. <laughs> Slash haven't complained and said anything otherwise. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. So. Exactly. So, yeah. If, if, if we don't hear from you about the length, we're not going to change yeah, it. Gonna exactly. Keep it longer it. And longer we're just going to keep longer. talking. <laughs> and talking. And there you and go. I, I, I managed to offend some people. There we go. Right. Okay, but make sure you leave comments in below. Like, follow, subscribe. Tell your mom to watch us. May the force be with you guys. And may the force be with all of you. Bye. And with your spirit. Bye.